Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, Awfully Big Adventures, where we talk about travel, tips and tricks, just really anything that picks our interest. Um, today we are going to talk about our favorite packing tips and our packing must-haves whenever we go on cruises or really any kind of vacation. So one of the first things you'll want to take is a folder with all of your cruise documents. Um, part of the reason for this, when you get to the pier, um, they'll want to have your set sail pass. Um, a hard copy of it, so you want to make sure that you have all of that handy. You can keep that in a carry-on bag, a book bag. Um, you can also print out your cruise itinerary just to um, have with you. Um, to quickly look at what days will be at port and what times um, and really any documents that you'll want to have with you. I'd recommend copies of your passport, copies of your credit card, bank card, anything that if you had stolen you would want to have a backup copy of it to give to your bank or whomever so that you could cancel it. Um, so this is something really handy to have especially the first day of the cruise. It's also really handy for like keeping up with like any of like the freestyle dailies for Norwegian or like the cruise compass um, and just kind of any documents that you want to hold on to. Uh, it makes it really easy to bring back home and yeah it's definitely super handy. Alright so our next thing that we enjoy the most that has been the most useful to us when packing is um, our e-bags which they it took me a while to get convinced on them, I will admit, but it this is a toiletry bag and it has a ton of little compartments that you can expand and makes your toiletry bag lay flat so it doesn't take up as much space in your, um, either your carry-on or your checked bag. And it's super handy. This unzips and it has a hook where you can hang it up or you can just fold it back down and stow it away in one of the drawers in your cabin. Similar to that is a packing folder, which for, um, especially if you're thinking about formal night, you're taking down, or taking um, button-up shirts, blouses, anything that you don't want to get too wrinkled. Uh, with a packing folder, it's kind of like a packing cube. Um, you'll have a little insert in there that will tell you how to fold things. You'll use this to, um, to fold it. And then each of it, each of your um, clothes items will lay flat in there. Um, so one thing about that, you can really pack them down. You can get a good number of things in there. I think we've gotten like 10 to 12 shirts in there. It holds a lot more than it looks like it might. Like in just a few inches, you can hold easily um, 10 to 12 shirts. Um, it's really handy if you're a guy and you need button-down shirts probably for just about every evening for dinner. So it's definitely one of our favorites. Um, we also have them in just various different sizes, different colors. This would be handy if you're a family. You can like color coordinate and have, you know, every person in their own color and make it really easy to pack. Um, it kind of helps me compartmentalize everything as I'm packing. I can be like, okay, well I have all my socks and underwear in here. That's done. Sit it to the side. Um, and these, I know the smaller ones, you can fit quite a few in there. Um, what you would do is you would like fold it in a half, like fold your shirts, tri-fold, and then roll them. I swear it doesn't get as wrinkled. I know in one of the larger ones, like this size, I can fit like... 20 shirts. It's really insane, um, but it's definitely handy. Uh, one of the other reasons we like the packing cubes is once you get to your cruise cabin, um, instead of having to unpack everything, you can simply take out the folder, lay it on the shelf in the closet, lay it in the drawer, um, and just unzip it and fold it back. So it's kind of like you already have your drawer, um, and so it cuts down on packing time, and it just provides a barrier in the drawer or in the closet to keep your, um, to keep your items clean. It makes unpacking once you're in the cabin, you know, like a, instead of a 20 minute process, like five minutes. You're just pulling everything out, sliding it into a drawer, and you're done. It's great. So our next item that we find absolutely crucial for cruise vacations, or to this point it's any vacation, that I um, definitely want to have this with me. Um, we don't have it with us right now because we're actually using it in our closet. Um, it's an over the door shoe organizer. It's really handy to hang over your bathroom door in your cabin. You can't do it on all ships, like the Epic we couldn't have done that because there really wasn't a bathroom door. Um, if you've been on it you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's really great to kind of 
clear up all the clutter off of your Indian counter space. You put all your toiletries in there, sunscreen, um, medicines, really anything, just like getting ready and it, you can just put it all in there. You can divide it up by however many people you have and you can kind of just keep everything compartmentalized and cleaned up. It's really, really handy. It's also nice to uh, get a lot of things off of the counter, um, especially if the ship rolls around any, you don't want um, some of your toilet shoes uh, rolling off the counter and breaking. So the next item we wanted to talk about was the bag to take for your shore excursions. Uh, for me personally, I like to take a Camelback backpack, which is pretty small um, compared to other backpacks, uh, but certainly enough room to fit a beach towel or two, um, a camera, sunscreen, um, any other items that you might need throughout the day. Um, and one of the perks of the Camelback backpack is, of course, um, the water bladder inside of it. I think this one holds two liters of water. Um, and so what we'll normally do is we'll fill it up. The night before, if we can, we just use the tap water on the ship. It is reverse osmosis water, so it is safe to drink. Uh, we'll fill it up, we'll put it in the mini fridge in the stateroom, uh, let it chill overnight. Um, and so that way when we go out the next morning, it's at least partially cold um, and we have water throughout the day. So we're not worried about uh, spending money on bottled water while we're there or drinking tap water. So we have um, a decent supply of water at our disposal because it will always be hot, it will always be humid, and you for sure want to stay hydrated throughout the day. Um, so this is definitely one of our best. So the next thing that um, really seems kind of trivial but I found to be really helpful for peace of mind is to take a pair of cheap sunglasses. I know a lot of you guys probably have Ray-Bans, Oakley's prescription sunglasses, things that um, may cost several hundred dollars. And so when you're going out on a beach day and you may be wearing these in the water and you're jet skiing or who knows what you're doing. Uh, for me, I got these I think from H&M for five bucks. And so I don't really care if I lose them. It's not the end of the world by any means. And so I have this backup pair of sunglasses. In addition, I take my, um, my Ray-Bans with me, but these I wear um, out. Um, on a shore day or shore excursion. Also make sure you have chums or croquis or any um, any of those devices that help uh, just to keep it around your neck. It's easier to take them on and off and you're not having to find places to put them, especially if you're in a swimsuit. Um, and so for peace of mind, I always have these handy and available. Our next item that we are going to talk about might not be for everyone, but it is definitely for us. Um, and depending on what cruise line you are on, they will allow you to take bottles of wine. I know um, we're about to take a Royal Caribbean cruise coming up in um, a couple months, and they allow two bottles of wine per stateroom. And we're flying, so that can be sometimes really, really tricky. Um, so we like to get these wine skins. Um, you just like slide the bottle in there. You'll seal it up. It has like the 3M seal things it seals twice on the inside and then this holds over to seal it and it is um, lined with bubble wrap it's where um, if it does leak it's not going to get on your clothes or if it is broken it all stays contained in here which is you know just for peace of mind but also I want to show up you know I want my wine to show up in one piece um, also something um, that is really handy to take is a corkscrew. Um, sounds pretty straightforward, but it's definitely something that we have forgotten and we have been, you know, scavenging around the ship just trying to find a corkscrew. Something small to remember. Uh, your room attendant or any wake staff will be happy to uh, let you borrow a corkscrew, but just to have one with you if you're in your, um, in your stateroom and you just want to sit on the balcony and have a glass of wine, you already have your corkscrew and it's taken care of. Or you can get wines that have a screw off top. Um, there's lots of wines now that are good quality wines that don't necessarily come with a cork, and so those are um, equally as handy. All right, our um, next couple of items that we find absolutely necessary um, is downy wrinkle release spray. I always go for the travel size because uh, if I run out, I can just throw it away and it's one less thing that I have to bring back. And um, it just takes up less space. Um, but it's really, really great for, you know, you're just getting ready and you can spray your shirt, hang it up. By the time you're ready to get dressed, 
usually all of the wrinkles have fallen out, which is found, it's really, really handy. Um, our next little item that we have found really handy is some kind of room spray. This is a Yankee Candle one, but you really can get whatever. Um, sometimes there's just weird smells on the ship, and you're in close quarters, and it's definitely nice to have just a fresh smell in your room. Another thing that I'll always pack, um, I may not use it a ton, it just varies by trip, but it's always nice to have is a little pair of binoculars. Um, you don't have to get fancy ones by any means unless you're just a, a big enthusiast. I forget how much these are. Um, we'll but, link everything down below that we can find online and that will give you some idea of prices. But we definitely didn't spend a lot of money on any of it. These are very compact. They're nice when you're out at sea if you see other cruise ships going by, if you're passing by land, um, if you're sailing by Cuba and you want to see what you can see of the coastline. And so you could just pull these out and see um, whatever is out there. Sometimes you might see flying fish out in the ocean. There's just a lot of cool different things. Um, and even while you're in port, um, you can sit on on your balcony or up on the pool deck and look out at different things and it's just it's just fun to look at um, things that you traditionally wouldn't get to see. I'm guilty of using them when we're at port to look at other ships. I don't know why. I just like to see what people's doing. I'm nosy. Um, but I definitely do enjoy it if you have like a balcony or an ocean view. Um, just spending your time looking out at the ocean. It's really, really relaxing, really enjoyable. The last thing we're going to talk about today is um, electrical tape, which sounds kind of weird. This is masking tape. We couldn't find the role of electrical tape. Um, I guess there are a number of different reasons you might want to have tape with you. The biggest one we found, though, is a lot of the newer uh, cruise ships at night in the staterooms. There might be different things that have little night lights built in. Uh, for example, we went on the Norwegian Epic a couple years ago, and around the light switches, there's a built-in little uh, nightlight kind of thing, which for me, when I sleep at night, I like it to be pitch dark. And so, I mean, you could throw a shirt around it or something else, uh, but for us, we just threw a little bit of electrical tape on it, and that way we weren't cluttering up the cabin with <laughs> clothes items. It looked a little bit cleaner. Um, and so it's just something nice to have to help get the cabin closer to the way uh, that we wanted it. Alright everybody, we just wanted to thank you all for watching. Um, we'll definitely have more content up really soon. We're going to kind of do a cruise series with our upcoming trip and do different, you know, pack with me um, and maybe even vlog a little on our trip. So we just want to thank you all for watching and have a great day.